18 is the town car appropriately black and here he is Hunter Pence arriving he left Washington DC today he was supposed to arrive around uh, 8 o'clock and uh, this is a live shot of him getting right to AT&T Park so he will go in and uh, say hi to his new teammates but he was supposed to arrive at about 8 he, he landed at 852 Lucille is there <laughs> to meet him and he's saying uh, I don't miss the Philly fanatic anymore, but this has got to be a hard deal. Two years in a row, middle of the season, this young man has been traded. Last year it was from Houston to Philadelphia, also a bottom division team to a first place team. And likewise, he has to pack up and go from the Phillies, who are in last place in the National League East, to the Giants, who are back on top of the National League West. Well, I'm sure he's happy about that, that the move from last place to first. The tough part is moving your family across country and finding a place to stay and trying to get comfortable so that you can go to work every day and not worry about the things off the field but he's a veteran guy now he understands what he has to do and I'm sure he's looking forward to this challenge and just coming to San Francisco he knows the park is going to be full every night the fans are going to cheer for him so I I'm pretty sure he's, he's looking forward to putting on that orange and black and again the Giants were kind of debating whether they would activate him today thought maybe this game was over very quickly but he arrived right now maybe he got a pinch hit in the ninth they did not do that the new uh, fans are going to greet uh, Hunter Penn. So I think tomorrow what is going to happen, they are going to put Aubrey Huff on the disabled list with that knee injury bit, and they're going to activate, obviously, Hunter Pence, and he will make his debut uh, tomorrow night against the lefty pitching uh, Jonathan Nee. So what a day for this guy. He wakes up this morning at Philly, the day of the deadline, finds out he gets traded, flies across country, his flight is delayed, shows up late for the game, his teammates have already won. So when he walks into that clubhouse, and we'll follow this kick camera all the way in as far as we can. He's going to uh, take a little U-turn here and go into the dugout, I think, and go up into the clubhouse, Pip. Or actually, I think he's going up to the, uh, the press level maybe to meet the media. I think that's the first thing on his agenda is to uh, meet the organized media. Maybe we'll be able to eavesdrop on that. But what kind of reaction will he get going into the clubhouse after a victory and they welcome a two-time All-Star? You know, I think those guys are going to be very happy to see him. There could be.